welcome back everybody and um, today we're gonna be talking about this so that's what I'm gonna be doing so today it's gonna be quite easily I'm I'm really really uh, uh well not overworked or stressed but I'm a little bit uh, tired of well doing all of this so it has been a good it has been correctly done now and uh, the thumbnail is now finally completed I just only need to fix uh, some couple of things and then it should be all fine so um, yeah this is our lovely uh, this is our lovely final product of the uh, thumbnail and as you can see um, I did actually uh, finish the text on it and the text on the second part so this just says the Malfoy project and this actually says the uh, that did you know that uh, Birds can sometimes be very hostile towards other creatures. Which, of course, you know, is a big giant warning why, you know, this is happening. So, um, the, main, the main thing that I liked at how this has actually turned out to be is that uh, the effects of how the background effect works, I, I really like it. Um, I really like how it works, that it is running from one place to another, so the uh the root here actually uh, gets into the mid midsection so you're actually your eyes are already guided towards the midsection which is really nice also the white part here uh is a nice space uh spending and the green card here also is a nice green uh, uh place uh is also correctly placed If I would have placed the green card uh, on the other side, it won't have, it wouldn't have worked as well as the, um, as it, uh, as it should be, I think. Because if I move that one there, then uh, I had my doubts about it, then it would work properly. So um, let's talk about what uh, needs to be done better next time when I want to do this or what 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 was really hard for me to do in the first place so we need to get a little drawing right here and then we can compare it a little bit so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna compare it yep there you go give me the comparison all right first things first what is um What's the difference between this and this? Well, uh, this has some action in it, which increases the uh, density. I even used the mo uh, movement motion in this one, so that's why it's a little bit blurred. Otherwise, it won't have been blurred as much as this one has. So the um, main thing that I would have liked uh, to create better next time is probably the lighting itself. Um, I'm not very good at drawing the uh, lighting just yet because you know it's I just getting started upon getting this uh, correctly done. I do like how this has been turned out. Like you know, it does feel like the lighting is getting channeled, so that's good. But it always can go better. You know, that's the main idea. The bomb, the bomb is actually quite good. I really like it. It is a really good one. This one is actually quite good. The Malfog, it does is it does feel like it is representative, but I feel like the creature itself is a little bit too big. Uh, or you know, um, well, the main the main problem is actually the uh, size of this whole damn thing itself. So because it is such a big um, thumbnail, because thumbnails are so big, it. Um, is a very problematical thing to create small so if I had like these images right here they are only 512 by 512 they do create a very easy way of doing things so they they just you know it's just one simple thing that is quite easy to un uh, uh, to get get through well this one is actually quite big and huge which is quite a problem because it is so huge you need to fill up the whole area and sometimes you know filling up the area can be sometimes a little bit confusing so that's my main uh, issue with this whole drawing is that uh, because it is so big and uh, because it is a thumbnail it does get a little bit uh, difficult to get uh, to create the uh, f fulfillment of being fully filled 
also, as you can see, um, the lighting could have been better. I don't know how to do it, probably better, but yeah, it could have been better. But uh, the tree trunk, that was actually quite nice. I felt like a tree trunk, so it does feel quite great. The bomb is great. The background, I really like it. It is uh, quite a nice background. I took the inspiration of the background right here. Uh, just use the primary color that has already been used and then you know extend on that so that's why this is there and uh, these strokes right here represent the other one that I used so I will find that one that is in the egg shower if I'm correct yes it is so the egg shower does also have these little lines and these lines um, I wanted that also to be Representing right here, but of course, you know, because it is like a swan a Swallow effect. I did not use it properly and I have a feeling that uh, No It's just because of the size. It's just because of the uh, bi uh, Bigness of it Maybe I should have been working a little bit more higher, but uh, yeah. Oh well So yeah the main idea here was just to get the thumbnail done for the Malfoc itself, so that the Malfoc is actually quite good and looking. And I think that is actually that that actually has been succeed uh, has actually been succeeded. Honestly, you know, when you look at it, it does represent the Malfoc itself. So this is the Malf Malfoc cartoony, and then you know, you if you want to look at the Malfoc itself, it does represent it. And well, we have now a better thumbnail for it, so. That's a plus size, honestly. It does have the same feeling as the original uh, drawings. Maybe I should have put more um, look in this, but I believe this is just fine. The text here is just, yeah, it's just fine. It's just fine, yeah. Should have known. So, yeah. Maybe it should have been a little bit better. Maybe I should have put more shadow in the left side, but I don't know. Mm, no, shouldn't. Uh, maybe. Anyway, as you can see, the Malfoc here does has its own representation, but because this thing is like you know, like faced upwards, it it does represent it. I uh, I think it represents it, even though you know it might be a little bit different than this one right here but it does represent it and I like to have the claws to be white in this one because you know it's toony I don't like uh, it would have looked strange if I did not go for the uh, uh, if I would go for the green uh, look on the drawing itself so yeah we have the roots we have the crystal the expression on the face is correctly done the little help text is also there on in the, on the on the left it's it's not very annoying it's very calmly placed so it's not you know blocking the side or anything uh the white the white text is correctly placed so that's good so now we actually did it successfully so that's quite nice anything else i want to add to this mm. Mm. Not really. It just means that I now finally finished the thumbnail, but was it worth to get the thumbnail done? Probably yes, because if I'm correct, I still have the thumbnail that I'm using uh, by a long shot, so allow me to just get that one. Yeah. So we use this thumbnail right here, or that thumbnail right now. So these thumbnails are... How old are they? Uh, property is when this one was this one made 2020 uh, 2020 so a year ago yeah so we went from this thumbnail right here we went from you know this we went from this to this that's a uh, that's a major improvement say the least that was a major improvement yep so this is the bomb this is the bomb now. Well, that looks so much better. I think I improved myself. I'm very happy upon this. I'm also very happy upon how far this is already getting. But uh, tomorrow I will be starting on the Morphart again. 
I just really need to uh, take a little break uh, for today because, you know, I've been working uh, almost three hours in to get this thing fully finished before I started the stream anyway. But, yeah, it uh, it's a major improvement if you can see, like, how this turned out to be. So we went from this um, to this right here. I'll, 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 get, I'll, get, I'll get the thumbnails done, so hold on. So we went from we went from uh, that way. We are in from this to this the drawing that I'm still using for the uh, YouTube channel. Maybe I will improve. Maybe I will get a new uh, uh, profile picture as well. And then we went from that to um, let's see where it is. So and then we went to the thumbnails that we now have. So we have now multiple thumbnails that are correctly done and. I really like how the thumbnails have been turned out because this one it does feel right. I know that I uh I know that I rushed this one but you know it still has some charm on it. I know I rushed this one but it, it does have some charm on it. It it really has some charm. I really like how this how this one actually also works. It's it's quite cute to see like, you know, Mr. Professional and Player, the tiki hat, you know. <laughs> And then you have, you know, uh, <laughs> the ocean guys right here, and the the stupid the stupid chumpy boys, and this is and this is like, uh, let's see, this is this is the Nana if I'm correct, and then you have like Larry, yeah, that's why I use that style because I actually use the Larry style on it, but yeah, um, non rushed, a uh, thumbnail, so that's actually quite a good one. And you can already see, like, if I just take some time on it, it it will improve upon my it will improve upon everything else. And I'm getting better and better at coloring, so that's also good. And if I'm correct, I can even get the Legend of Big Boy Steve if I'm if I'm correct. If I'm loading the creator file, I can show you the um, mask removal. I believe that no, that only removes the digital version. If I remove the mask on this. Can I do that? Probably yes. No, that's the line. That's the line. That's the line. Ah. So this? No. Hmm. Where's the D? No. Alright. Ah, here you go. This is the filter mask, right? Yes, there you go. Filter mask one is gone and the other one needs to be gone as well. So this one and... Oh. Ooh, ooh. So why is this then? Oh, and I had these ones on separate ones. Interesting. So you can already see that, you know, this one, you know, is also, you know, the the same. Uh, it has still the same uh, idea of it. But you can already see that I uh, that uh, I'm getting better at it. You know, this is like the electricity that came from the Zap Demon. And then I'm not going to save this. Nope. And then I went from that electricity type to this kind of electricity type, which has like a far better. Um, it it kept the original art style that I'm using with this one, and the zap the zap demon was not that uh, correct. Also, with this one, I what I really like about this accomplishment is how this is like it's still the same bomb, but it has like a different art style towards it because I used a little bit more sketchiness into it so less toony but more sketchy also that's why I like these snakes these snakes are so funny to, to look at because they remind me of the chumpy boys and the chumpy boys are really cool so yeah we went from we went from pretty much uh, this art we went pretty much back to our uh, to our uh, art style that we actually are already using which is like, um, no, oh, here you go. It's already like this. It's all, it's the, it's the, old, it's all the same, you know. It's all the same art style, just you know, different, uh, different, uh, just different uh, way of, you know, how it looks. It, it does give the same feeling to it, but this has like a lens scope on it, so that's why. But yeah, it does all now a lot better, and I hope that the thumbnail actually improve, uh, gets improved even, even more later on but yeah uh, this thumbnail is now done so Mothawk thumbnail is done so tomorrow I will be able to get to the Mothawk um, again and um, 
and in the meantime, while I'm not doing the morph work, I need to design some uh, art. Uh, need to design some uh, t-shirt art that I want to do, uh, so that uh, I can wear it well, uh, you know, at a conf at a, conf a convention. So yeah, I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna make it with a bomb. Don't worry about it. That one. It's uh, it's gonna be a kind of most wanted poster. So that's why I'm gonna be. That's what I'm aiming for at least. But yeah, I have Im totally improved on uh, what it, what year is it now? Uh, 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 oh, year it's two thousand one. Yeah, in one year, this is uh, this is how it went. It went from it went from stupid bomb, well, tiny little bomb, easy easy drawing to very detailed, or oh, well, you know, toony detailed, which is actually quite impressive. And I'm very happy upon it. I'm very satisfied upon um, the achievement I'm already making, and this is why it's always necessary. Oh, oh, hey, Dewey. Looks like Rodan. What is Rodan? What is Rodan? Uh, Rodan. I want to know what Rodan is. Rodan. Ah. All right. Hold on. Oh, that thing. That thing. Yeah, it does look like it, doesn't it? It does look like Rodan. It looks like a little bit of Rodan. It d it does look like it a bit, but it is less. Bi it is less. It is more. Uh, it's less bat-like and more. Um, well, it came out well. Yep, definitely. It is more. It is more uh, butterfly moth like than uh, than uh, than ba uh, than a reptilian bird like, which that's what what I was aiming for. I was aiming for you know you have these one two three one two three and then you have the uh, wings, so that's what I wanted to aim for. And I also wanted to aim for the representation of the moth walk itself. So that's why it is. That's why it is a thumbnail for the moth walk itself. Because if you can see properly, um, if you can see properly, you can already see that it is all that it is both the same. Um, hold on. I just need to get this thing. Yeah. As you can see, it's all. It is the. It it is the same. It's the same bird. It's just you know. It's a little bit more toony, of course. You know, I, I was not fully. I did not fully do it correctly, but, you know, there is always room for improvement. Definitely, even in even in even even in a finished drawing, there is always room for improvement. But yeah, I went for I went instead for brown, things because this background because I went I went for, instead from brown I went to white because you know. It felt be it was better for the composition of uh, the art style it went for. It 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 gave it more uh, life instead of if I went for brown and I already have brown with more brown that would that wouldn't work, especially on those uh, toes. But yeah, thank you, thank you, dear Dewey, uh, uh, Dewey <laughs> But yeah, this. Uh, this thing, uh, this thing actually turned out pretty great, and I'm very happy upon it. And how much I did with it, I'm uh, I'm very happy that this represents the Morfolk now. The only thing I now need, uh, and now the only thing I now need to do is uh, um, get this thumbnail on 150 other uh, videos. So I need to get this thumbnail across all the 150 videos that I need to do. So probably that's going to be taking me like two or three days to. Uh, Fully get every video with the Morphok in this thumbnail, so that every, so that the thumbnails look nice in the playlist. So yeah, um, I think uh, I think pre I think I did pretty well on this uh, drawing, and uh, I'm very happy how it how it ended to be, and uh. Uh, I can't wait for the other one to be drawn, so I cannot wait for the uh, wanted poster to be drawn because you know I need to get this wanted poster on it because it is actually quite funny to get a wanted poster on it, and uh, 
it it, it is one of the teams that uh, are going to be on the convention. You know, you have these westernized wanted posters. So I need to get that. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, have we gamer? But yeah, the uh, wanted posters, I can show you, by the way, how it's going to be looking like. So... Oh, uh, I can I can show you that that's no problem. Want to post this anyway? Um, there you go. Twenty two. Thank you. I need to. I just need to look at this and. Yep. So, uh. Why is this so zoomed in? I have no idea. Can I zoom out here a little bit? Oh, hell no, I can't. Alright. So, um, can I get to the, can I get to the part where it is? Yeah. Yeah. That actually will work. That actually will work. So, as you can see, the uh, as you can see in the uh, in the convention, there is like uh, these wanted posters, which are the theme of it. It is the good, the bad, and the che uh, cheeky. So, yeah, gonna make that wanted poster working properly. And uh, to make get that wanted poster up and running, you know, you need to have these lovely little. You need to have the bomb. So, I can show you already how I'm gonna be probably doing it. So that's no biggie. Because that's good. It's looking very nice. Ah, oh, thanks. Thanks. I'm very happy and I'm very fond of it as well. It is one of those things, you know, it totally represents the Malfog, as you can see. Totally represents it. It has the two, it has the two wings. I kind of forgot, uh, pro I probably forgot this one right here. I, uh, I put uh, one less uh, wing on it. I'm, I'm so sorry about that, but... Uh, it happens. So yeah, it represents the Malfog. It represents the environment of the Malfog. That's why the that's why the bomb on the route is standing there, and he just he just got a quest to get that crystal. And uh, well, you know, this thing just showed up. That's exactly how this is ending. But uh, allow me to just get a little uh, doodling done because you know it's just a report upon what I what I want to do. Since that we already done with the thing, yeah, I will go for a fifty five. Um, what was it? Fifty twelve, right? Fifty twelve by fifty twelve was the um, was the was the bird. So yes, I'm gonna go for that again because it's a really nice it's a really nice ratio for um things like that, and we should definitely put it on that way. All right. So um, the idea here is that you know if I want to make a if I'll I'll, I'll show you. So. If the bomb, you know, has like the uh, wanted poster, and I'm not using the right, I'm not using the right here. I believe this is the right one. Yeah, this is the right one, or even higher. Oh wait, hold on. So am I using the right color? Because now I can draw, but am I drawing correctly? No. If I'm going to uh, seven, eight, maybe is it even? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hmm. Yeah, I need to update my... I need to update my tablet. It seems like it uh, It went a little bit out of uh, out of whack. It can happen, you know. It can happen that, that things go out of whack. But, uh, for instance, now I can go this one and then go back here. And then this should go down to 6. Point there. there you go. So the idea is that when once we have the bomb... You know, the, the big giant bomb, and we have the bomb on the poster. I'm just going to go for a little coloring. Just going to show you what I mean. How I'm going to be doing it, anyway. Uh, uh, there you go. Just going to be drawing a circle. Get an eye in. Get another eye in. This is absolutely how... This is absolutely not how you're supposed to do this. Trust me, it's it's the worst case scenario of doing it like that. But just get, the, just get a little... Uh, just giving you a little heads up. So this is the hat, for instance. Then uh, when you get the layer style up and running, you can see that there are different things, but you don't want that one. You actually want to go for the uh, add uh, filter mask. There you go. So now we have a filter mask for blur. We don't want that. We actually want the posterize mode. So come on. Uh, no. 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 
Supla. There you go. Posterize. There you go. So what this do? What this does? If you if you see this already, you can see that um, uh, some some parts here turn really uh, like a poster. That's exactly what it does. It it turns things like a poster. So if I would now draw on this and I would draw like very fancy stuff, like for instance um, a hand right here, and I would draw it with more colors than one. You can already see that this actually creates a cool looking effect, but if you want to see the true picture of this, I can do that as well. We're not going to save this, oh hell no. And we want to posterize, we can do it with this one as well. So there is no harm to do this, but I will do this to show you what I mean with posterizing. So this is the posterize effect. Well, not yet. You can already see what is going on here. You can see that all these colors are getting very very badly drawn so if i want to get this done properly i should definitely went i probably should go for something like well what do we want then this is this is like this is one this is two this is the posterized two it's very very strange it's like all p full negative and then you have this one this one this one this one Ooh, this one is actually quite cool this one is actually quite cool. I really like this one. This uh, this does create a cool effect. So, if we want, we could actually go for this. We don't, but it does. It does create cool effects. Trust me, it does create cool effects. It's not the best to go for, but yeah, you can already see like it tries to um, create this old school effect on. Um, old uh, movies uh, when you have the old uh, photos of the thing um, so it's not part of the magical girl story no actually not uh, the magical girl story is um, right oh, yeah. god damn it um, I'll cancel it this is the Mothog uh, this is uh, this is the project for Hex Harbor yeah he, uh, he asked me to he asked me to draw uh, the mo he asked me to draw the Mothog oh and I now loaded it two times, didn't I? Oh yes, I did. Oh well, um, we're gonna cancel. Uh, we're gonna cancel this one out. We don't need to posterize. Nope. But uh, yeah, the Malfog is actually uh, for Hex Harper's his own book. It's uh, it's like um, this is gonna be in a book that is for a D and D game. So some D and D kind of game. So um, you have mechanics. You have a tabletop. You have a tabletop game. And this thing is going to be showing up on the battlefield and then you know peep and the dm is going to look up like oh well this is the creature that you know is representing it and shows it to the players exactly like that so this is like you know a good representation where this creature lives it's a good representation what the creature is and how the creature acts and how it behaves and what it does well i know the mechanics of the creature for instance it can shoot lightning because of its static electricity. Well, how does he gain its static electricity? Well, because he has crystals inside of his tail. So that's why, you know, you can see the charge up within his wings. So it goes from the tail to the wings, and then from the wings to the uh, to the arms. And then it shoots the lightning out of it. So that's why I that's why I went for that kind of attack with the Morfok uh, thumbnail. Because, you know, it charged up the electricity it comes it goes from the spine to the wing parts here and then it channels it up which is quite cool the magical girl story by the way is um the magical girl story is right here um i have it right here the story of awesomeness it's the it has like it has like the crystal rhino in it it has uh mina in it it has the front face of mina in it which i have been uh which i have been improving uh, it's not fully done, trust me, it's not fully done, but yeah. It had to, it has a frontal face in it, which is quite nice. It, it's it's still not fully how I wanted it to be, but it's far better than before. Let's put uh, let's put it seriously. It it is far better than before. But yeah. The um story of awesomeness is uh the story I'm writing and uh, as you can see it has like the electric rhino. I still need to work a Rufina, uh, Rufina and Mina's uh, frontal uh, front face, 
and then once uh, once that is done I will uh, get the f I will do a re full rework on Mina uh, on Mina self because I want to actually get this thing I want this face to be far better I don't want this walnut face I don't like it I don't like it at all it's uh, it's not very nice so yeah but uh, yeah, um, this is the Malfa project that is actually work uh, that's uh, that I've been working on for Hacks Harbor, which you know is a friend of mine. And uh, yeah, it looks already it looks already great. It's a very nice it's a very nice thing that how far I'm already at it. Of course, you know it has no it has no time limit, or well, it doesn't have as much of an emergency to get it thing fully done because of how the progress goes with the with the game design, you know. Game design takes a lot of time, and so you know I have a lot of time as well to continue with my drawing. That's why I already. That's why I work. Well, well I like to you know take my time on it. Oh, really? They both work for it. Nice. Well, that's good. That's great. I like it. I didn't know, by the way. I just I just was told you know. From Hack's perspective, not not from the rest of it. But oh well, if Nav is also working on that tabletop uh, tabletop game, then I'm very I'm very not, I'm very happy for them both. And so yeah, this thing gets into it, and I'm very happy upon it. I'm very happy to work on it, and once it's fully done, you know, I'm uh, I I'm I'm very curious how this book is going to be looking like. But uh, yeah. I am also very happy that I got this thing done because this thing looks amazing because this is like very energetic and it gives a it gives a good sign of how the thumbnail is going to be looking like after all. So, yeah. Um dip 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 do. We're already 22 minutes in and I have nothing else to prepare. I have nothing else prepared than just talking about the Morfok itself. So, um do you guys have any questions, or you know, or want to ask me something? Then just free, uh, feel free to ahead. Otherwise, I'm just gonna be, you know, gonna be rambling on a little bit upon the uh, upon the problems that I came across with this drawing, because you know there were definitely some problems that I came across that had like really had my hat spinning. I'll give you like a minute to uh, wait for it. In the meantime, I'm just gonna be looking at this thing. And seeing like ah, I could have made move this a little bit upwards, but I don't think that would be that would be a good idea. Like you know, shorten it out and then move this thing right here. But yeah, like for instance, right here I have also the uh, drawing of uh, like a little fan art I drew. It's quite funny though. It's really actually funny because if you can look at this uh, fan art, you know you can see already like ah yes. This this do is not the full same thing as everything else, but yeah, it does it does have some you know not this is like very hard uh, to do. This this was not fully f fully done correctly. This this and this and this yes that was actually quite good. That lay this layout was actually quite good. This lay uh this this layout was good, but this layout right here then. But yeah, as you can see. I am trying to improve upon myself every single time, and I'm very happy upon that. I'm very happy upon it. The main problem with this thing, by the way, was actually quite annoying. The uh, uh, how I would be able to get the background uh, more alive—that was actually the main issue. I was literally digging my head around how to get this part right here done properly. Um, I'm gonna be just putting another layer down so I don't hurt anything here. So this layer right here. This layer, right here. Uh, hold on, I'll move, move. Dip, dip. There you go. This layer right here is very annoying because uh, all this background, I had no idea. Like, how do I get this thing being more energetic and more uh, cool looking to give the feeling of you know, yeah, this thing is charging up with all the electricity in its in in in, in its bones and. I thought like, well, why don't I make like a little stream of bl uh, air or wind going towards it? The main issue was when I when I looked up for uh, images of air or wind, I was like, is just that 
wow, that's absolutely garbage. There were no good uh, images to look for, like, you know, streams or, you know, it, there was nothing. It was just, you know, because most uh, animations, you, uh, if they use wind, they most likely put it into the hair and not on the visual side of things. So it is like only leaves that are blowing. And I didn't want to go for the leaves. I wanted to go more for the air stream coming coming into uh, into the into the wing because you know that was my idea with it. So that's why I went for this kind of effect. The main problem was once I uh, drew one color, I was like, yeah, something is missing. So I had to draw a secondary color on it because of that uh, because of that problem, because it doesn't look nice when you only have one color. So I went actually for two colors instead, so it gives more feeling and more uh, form to the drawing. I of course needed to make sure that I was a little bit careful that it was not fully done. Uh, well, that it was not fully, you know, uh, two colors, but it was not fully affecting everything. So that's why I did that. Um, the That was one of the hardest parts, also uh, creating the wood structure, so the big giant trunk where the bomb is standing on was also very hard for me because I know how to draw it, don't get me wrong there, but I didn't need to, uh, because this is a very simplified art style instead of, you know, the art style I'm normally using, which is the Marfoc itself, it, uh, I need to be aware that, you know, I needed to simplify the details on the, on the, uh, on the, on the route instead of uh, instead of um, get going ham on the full detail, because then you have heavy detail with less detail, and it doesn't make any fucking sense whatsoever. Which is a thing that you know needs to be done. So that was one of those things. Also, the positioning of the letters in the uh, in the white one was also a very hard one, and the way of how I uh, needed. The placement of the of the green text was also a very hard one to do, but uh, yeah, I think that's it for today. Um, anyway, I'll uh, I'll make sure uh, I'll I'll make sure um, uh, yeah I'll make sure that uh, tomorrow I will be working back on the Malfoc project, and uh, I hope I'll, I hope you all have enjoyed for today, and uh, thanks all for watching. And I hope I'll see you all next time. Until then, I wish you all a lovely day. Bye!